1-800-O-C-A-N-A-D-A. -A -A. Alright. 1-800-O-Canada, Patrick speaking. Do you ever stop to think how important Canada is to the world? <laughs> Hey guys, my name is TJ Rogers. I'm from Whitby, Ontario. Started skating when I was around eight or nine years old. Would always go to the local skate park called Iroquois Skate Park. Just started skating there, progressing, and started getting older. And then I started traveling a little bit. Ended up moving for a few years away, and then I'm kind of coming back. I'm moving to California a few years later. And yeah, here we are now. <laughs> Growing up in Whitby was tough, you know, it was, uh, there wasn't a lot there to offer you. Because, you know, it's like 30, 40 minutes away from downtown Toronto, so it's kind of hard to commute there and back. When you're growing up, you didn't really have a car, you'd have to use a train system. The winters are absolutely horrible out there, but I'm sure every Canadian knows that. It's like, you go out there and you can't end up skating from almost Halloween till March, maybe April, depending on the weather. There was an indoor skate park around, a few of them actually. One that I went to the most, that was 905 Indoor Skate Park. West 49 would do contests with 905. I ended up getting sponsored on one of the Fridays that I won the contest by both of them. It was pretty sick. Who inspired me the most? It wasn't really about, for me, the the bigger pros that were out there. That it was kind of more of my peers and the people that influenced me and got me to where I wanted to be, you know, like Jordan Mandula, there was Ryan Robitaille, there was Grant Patterson, there was a lot of people that I looked up to, but top down, hands down favorite Canadian would have to be either Wade Desarmo or Ryan Desenzo. How did I end up getting on blind? Actually, it's kind of funny, because I tried to get on blind a while back, in like 2007, 2008, and Weiss was like, oh, wait a minute, you know, he's not ready yet, type deal. And I just really liked being a part of blind because of Morgan Smith. Morgan Smith was my favorite skater also growing up. He was the one that was coming up in the skate world, especially in my area. So I was just like, damn, I want to be a part of Blind because I know that Morgan's being taken care of and the team manager so happens to be from Canada as well. So I ended up hitting up Bill and hitting up Morgan a lot and just like, hey Morgan, help me out here, help me out. And Morgan was always down for me and then I ended up just like sending him a tape at the time that I was like really hyped on and he ended up saying, yeah, we'll, we'll flow you boards. And that was the beginning of 2008. The skate scene's growing out there for sure. It's been growing tremendously ever since I started to now. There's so many different skate parks growing up in every different city, skate shops. The skate shops are all just super tight, especially uh, Switch and Scotty's. They've always been there for me since day one. Every time I go into a local skate shop down in Canada, they're always so friendly, they're so tight to me, and they're just like so welcoming to me, and I really like that about Canada. 